killing machine. Now, obviously, most people are aware that at this point, especially after yesterday's video, that we will not be getting a brand new legend in season 18, but rather a rework for Revenant. And today, we're going to take a deep dive into everything we know about the upcoming Revenant Reborn rework set to release in Season 18 of Apex Legends. And I can tell you that it's going to be picking up a little bit sooner rather than later in-game, as you will be able to take part in a in-game teaser with Loba and kind of discover what's happening with Revenant in a more kind of clearly teaser kind of fashion this is going to be a situation where they're going to be trying to push the story forward more or less without giving you too much details but it's kind of like how we've been getting the teasers to ballistic and catalyst and everything else for the last few seasons and moving forward it does look like there's going to be a few more reworks coming but first, guys, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time right now to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, obviously, there is definitely some debate that's been going around about what abilities are going to be coming to the Revenant rework. And honestly, looking at the situation we're in with Halloween rolling up around the corner, a lot of things could be changing. But we do know that originally it did look like we were going to see stuff based off of the Phantom Toolkit that was leaked a few seasons back. Now obviously this little short range grapple hook was never really going to be something that made it into the game simply because, well, Pathfinder uses a grapple hook. And then this ultimate, this ultimate. that more or less was identical to Fade's phase chamber, again, was just something that was being developed and was nowhere near being finished. So we do have some very interesting stuff coming to the game. But of course, thanks to ILU Games, we actually have a little more information on what to expect for the finalized abilities for Revenant Reborn. And as you can see here, the climbing passive will remain, but will allow you to highlight low health enemies. And the new tactical will be similar to that short range grapple, but will actually allow you to super jump to locations. And according to Thornton Smash, potentially even lock onto players and jump to them as well and the ultimate is definitely more of the debated topic in general because it's very different than what we've seen in the game files and yes we do have game files that seem to suggest the void duel or shadow realm 1v1 that we were talking about for quite some time and honestly that is a really amazing sounding ultimate if you think about it in depth and you saw what I've actually been seeing for the last few months. So it actually would have been quite interesting how it would have worked out, but it might have been a little overpowered, to be honest with you. However, it does look like he will have a new ability that uses the totem and puts him into a state where knocking and killing enemies will replenish health and shields and allow him to more or less be the juggernaut that we saw in the actual trailer for Revenant on release now we also do know that there is a whole host of new animations for the revenant reborn um launch bundle skin i believe it's going to be people were definitely debating on whether or not this was going to be the prestige skin a stories from the outland skin or as we're learning now more likely the launch bundle skin for the rework of revenant now this is not completed in terms of the final skin look i do believe there is some textures and if not just some basic pieces of the model missing in general but as you can see the glass shard in the neck and a lot of the stuff that is actually featured in the animation kit is pretty awesome and unique to the revenant character in general so it's really cool to see this that it's kind of like a stories from the outland skin but also kind of like a brand new skin in itself because it definitely looks a lot different than your typical revenant and uh you know still at the same time looks like revenant without being a legendary skin that could look like almost anything this actually looks like the original concept but with a little more refinement to it but of course this is all going to be happening in season 18 which is less than a month away at this point 
And the community is definitely going to be the people to make the decision whether or not this is a good change or a bad change. And I need to know what you guys think after hearing everything we currently know. So leave a comment down below and let me know what your opinion on Revenant Reborn and his, at this point, finalized toolkit. Are you interested in playing the new character that could inevitably be an absolute juggernaut changing everything with that ultimate? Or do you think it's going to be a little bit weaker than what we're currently seeing and potentially theory crafting in our own minds? Now I can tell you guys that the ultimate is a little bit different than it's worded in that it's not quite as strong as you're probably thinking it to be in your minds. It's more on par with every other shield and health regeneration item. It's not like the Fortnite ranked shield regen. But of course, guys, if you want to continue this conversation, head on over to the social media links. I'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favor to follow, whatever you haven't done already, and it will help the channel out absolutely massively as we look to keep you informed on everything we know about Revenant Reborn and the Apex Legends future in general. But of course, make sure you check out the Apex Minutes channel. That's my second channel where I give you 67, 60 second bite sized clips about Apex Legends news. Here's another video you should check out if you haven't already, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to check out Revenant Reborn or any of the other changes in Season 18 if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.